This is not the SH Figure Arts Body Coon DX Set Pale Orange Color Version. Did I get it? I got it. All right, hit it. <laughs> What is up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Arafulis, and today, Janelle is joining us. Say hello, Janelle. Hello, everybody. That's right. She's in the back. She is moderating. She is doing all of the producer work here on Twitch.tv forward slash D Star Zero One. That's right. Today, we'll be looking at a clone. Let's go it. Let's let's look at it. This is a fake. This is a bootleg. This is a KO. This is a knockoff. This is a clone. This is a China clone. This is something you get on AliExpress or eBay for $20 because you wanted the real deal, but you couldn't afford it. So you decided to get this from China in hopes that it would be the real deal, but don't worry. You don't have to get it. I got it for you. We're going to open it up. We're going to see if it's any good, and I'm going to tell you right now, I have one and I've opened one because I was testing spray paint on an action figure and I didn't want to waste a X, uh, SH figure arts body so I use this as a kind of like spray paint prototype I don't have it with me it's kind of trashed already and I use this as a kind of like a custom for the Ryu SH figure arts custom that I have hot Ryu I'll probably try to take them out later but anyway that's not the point we're gonna look at this we're gonna see if it's worth the $20 I got this on AliExpress for 20 bucks oh actually no no Correction, I got it on eBay for 20 bucks. I don't know if you can get this anymore. The body coons right now are on on pre-order from some sites. I missed out on the pre-orders at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action. We're going to see if we can get the real deal, but we're going to look at this fake right now. We're going to see if it's any good. Janelle, take us to the top cam. Enough of me talking. Let's get this guy open. Let's see if it's worth the money. I hope it is. The one I got was pretty good, but as we all know, when it comes to SH Figure Arts clones, ugh, no, they are very inconsistent. Some are great, some are really bad, some will break in your hands, some will just be like, why, why did you even spend the money? So we're going to look at this guy, we're going to see if it's any good, and already, wow, let's go to the front cam. Are you sure it's not supposed to just be No, no, there you go. Maybe it's some assembly required. <laughs> there might be some assembly uh, uh, required. Yeah, required. <laughs> Jeez, man, what the heck? Oh, gosh. Okay, so this has been in my collection, this one. Someone requested this, like, a couple of years ago, uh -oh. and I've never gotten around to actually reviewing it until today, because we, we moved and... We did all kinds of stuff. We opened the store, so we just never had time. So I found this recently in all my stuff. Uh-oh. Okay, so we already have an issue here. Let's look at this. We're going to look at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. But first and foremost, we already have an issue right here. Let's talk about it. We have a socket here. We have a ball and socket. Pretty standard ball and socket. As you can see, no matter how hard I push down on it, and everyone comments on my thumb being weird. Uh, I cannot get that to snap. There's That's impossible. What is going on here? Janelle, what is going on here? Why? Why won't that snap is in? Is the ball too big for the hole? No, 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 no. Oh, hey! <laughs> uh, no, there's something wrong here. It looks like the socket is... At, yeah, the socket is too big. Maybe... I don't know. Do this... you think some hot water <sighs> Jesus. would fix it? Should I go get that? Or... Okay, did it? Did... I thought I hear it. No, nope, nope. That, that I heard did it not... snap, but I no, but it did not stick. Right okay, so as you can see, inconsistency here, people, when it comes to clones. My clone did not do this. Mine was perfectly fine. Uh, and then this one just didn't work out. So the only way to probably fix this, it looks like it just needs a little hit of fixer elixir. But even then, I'm starting to think that it just wasn't made. This ball was not made for this socket. And yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, man. For a second, I thought you said Enya. And <laughs> no. This is, uh, yeah, this is not going to happen, hun. Oh, man. That is so unfortunate considering that the one I had a couple of years back actually didn't do this. It, it seemed like a perfectly fine body comb, but yeah, that's an issue. So now that we're done with that issue, let's look at this guy overall. Now, I believe the real one has a matte finish. This one is lacking one. Uh, also, it has some loose joints. This arm seems to be loose, while this one doesn't seem to have that issue as much. Um, but it doesn't look like anything else is breaking. Let's go over his butt here, the backside. It actually looks pretty detailed for what it is. Now, this figure is clearly made for customs. 
uh, or testing out custom stuff is what I use this for. All the joints seem pretty tight. Besides that, nothing super loose. This is something I expected. The one I got when I was testing out on customs had no issue. He can do a sidekick pretty well. So yeah, I mean, the pain detail, I mean, what do you expect? It's just a pretty much a mannequin looking like person. But my biggest issue right now is that ball joint is not snapping in. And that is the biggest issue I'm having right now. And this is so unfortunate considering, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, so far, I'm just going to tell you right now, maybe you should go for the real deal just so you don't have these quality control issues. That's my take on that. Uh, let's go into articulation and scale. Let's see if we can get this guy to at least stand up, right? And let's see how tall he's standing. We got a five and a half inch figure. We're going to compare him to the 80 viewer giveaway figure, which is the SH Figure Arts. Uh oh, Goku. Let's see if we can push this guy back a little. So there you have it. He actually scales decently well with SH Figure Arts Goku because, you know, he's an SH Figure Arts figure. Uh, let's compare it to more Gokus. Saiyan Raised on Earth, as you can see, scales decently well. Uh, <laughs> the fake Goku Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan. <laughs> I hate this figure. And uh, we have the real deal SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan. As you can see, it works actually really well with the real deals, I've noticed. Uh, more importantly, let's see how he looks with a real deal here, uh, Freddie Mercury. And it looks like, yeah, this this works. I'd have to say, Janelle, what do you think? I actually like the way it looks. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good knockoff. Yeah, I'd have to say, despite this issue. I want to fix that. Uh, yeah, I want to <laughs> fix it too. I, I, I just don't... You would have to need like three applications of Fixer Elixir considering that it doesn't even pop in. That's that's a big issue right here. All right, let's move aside these figures. Let's look at Marvel Legends. We have a Marvel Legends worthy cap right here. Really big in comparison. We're looking at a head and a half taller. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So he doesn't look like he scales well with uh, domestic figures here in the US like Marvel Legends. So he's mostly made for the imports like SH Figure Arts and Figma and whatnot. So let's talk about articulation. Uh, let's talk about this toe joint. Again, the fakes always have really tight toe joints. That's not even going to go up. Nope, that, that's a negative, Ghost Rider. That's not going to happen. We have a sway to the left and right there at the ankle. We have an up and down at the ankle as well. Man, that is an extremely tight toe joint. That is not going to move. Double jointed knee right there. That looks really cool right there. So he can do side kicks as I was showing off before. Can he do the splits? He can do the splits. Will he, he can. sit there if you let go of him? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, hold on. Janelle asked, can he, can he do the splits? Can he? Yeah. Yes, he can. I'd have to say so. That's not but bad. But we wouldn't know that if his top half were on, if he would still be Hold like, on, hold on. So balanced. there you go. Ah. Yeah, see, he's not bad. He's not bad. Nope. It's just, man, I hate that. <laughs> uh. So then this midsection does kind of twist, but not a full 360 twist. And if this was working, yeah, that would be an articulation point right there. He does have butterfly joints. That bicep swivel right here. Ooh, really tight biceps. Oh my gosh. Can you hear that? <laughs> That's extremely tight. Double jointed elbow. We have here the peg joint here at the wrist and two at the neck. We can be well above 20 points of articulation. Time to do a sure you can test. Someone commented on YouTube. Why don't you do more poses with him? Well, how many more poses do you want? Sure you can test side kick, front kick, uh, superhero pose. Sure, superhero pose. Yeah. <laughs> not so much superhero pose we did splits this way splits that way splits um here's a, a high kick roundhouse whew, and front kick kicking down the door and stuff like that uh he's very articulated but man that this is really hard for me to review this with this guy just being like two pieces you know what i mean <laughs> it's really tough it's really tough all right, Janelle, take us to the top cam. This is one of the oh coolest things gosh. about this figure when it comes to bootlegs. So I believe all these hands should work with most SH figure arts. So we're going to look and we're going to see if we can even put these hands on Goku and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Look at how many hands you get. You get the, hand, uh, the hands that hold the gun. 
You have all kinds of other hand poses, which look really cool. We got the peace sign right there and stuff like that. We're gonna test most of these, but not all of them. Uh, we got open hands. We got real, like uh, just a straight hand like that. Fist hand. Everything. Pretty much everything you need for a action figure of this kind. And let's look at the accessories. This is one of the cool parts too. So let's say you had an issue with this figure, right? The figure just you end up with a figure like this because you bought a body coon. You're like, oh, I bought it for 20 bucks and it breaks like this. This is one of the cool things. You get quite a bit of accessories. So you can kind of look at this figure. This is the the silver lining of this figure. You get quite a bit of accessories to work with. You get a sa um, not samurai sword. So yeah, samurai sword. You get a briefcase. You get a pistol, which is a generic 9 millimeters. what it looks like. You get a cell phone, a pencil. Um, you get a stand. That's another thing. You get a stand with this guy. So you get quite a bit of things to make up for its its shortcomings. So we're just gonna look at all these accessories. We're not gonna build them here. Um, but yeah, they are kind of the same skin tone. So you're gonna have to color it. This is one of those things where you're gonna have to color everything. Let's take out my nippers here and let's let's uh, let's yeah nippers. <laughs> and we're gonna cut this. So you're going to need some nippers if you want some cleaner cuts, but you know what? And I have to tell you right now, Janelle, take us to the front cam. This is pretty cool. Like you can totally customize this, put some primer on it, color it up, and you'll have a really decent 112 scale samurai sword, which is really nice. And as you can see, we're going to put it with Freddie Mercury here, even though he doesn't have the proper hands right now. And there you have it. There he is with a samurai sword walking on stage. Bam. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and let's look at the pistol here. Let's look here. Let's take out these nippers. And let's t look at this 9mm. It looks like a 9mm. I don't know. This is some generic 9mm. It doesn't look quite like anything. And there you have it. So again, it works really well with like Freddie Mercury and stuff like that. See, it's actually scaled really well. He can put it in his belt or something like that. Uh, the briefcase. Let's look at the phone. Sure. Let's look at the phone. Oh, he comes with two types of phones, actually. This body coon comes with a flip phone and a regular smartphone, as you can see. So this is really cool. I have to say... The plastic on this is quite sturdy. Usually I expect them to be like super soft or can break easily. And you can see right here, you can have Freddie Mercury doing what he if he, he would be doing if he was still alive. He would be on his smartphone, which you can see right there. And let's look at him with the flip phone. See? Look at that. Yeah, that's really cool. So um, oh, we'll look at the laptop. Sorry, it wasn't a briefcase. It's a laptop. Uh, we'll look at that on YouTube in the showcase. Let's get some hands, right? Let's put some hands on Body Coon himself. Um, let's take the peace hand. Let's see if they can even fit. Now, the issue with clones is their joints are usually pretty weak in comparison to the real deal. So I'm honestly kind of afraid that this might break on stream. Okay, no, that didn't break. Thank goodness. Thank you. Whew. Right, Janelle? <laughs> Dodge the bullet on that one. Uh, this one's pretty good, I'm assuming. So there you have it. We have the peace sign right there. Is it the peace sign or the kawaii? It could be kawaii Disney yeah, there right go. there. Kawaii Disney or peace. Peace on her. Uh, and uh, let's get a pistol hand in here. Do you think it's it an okay hand? Uh, what do you mean okay? Like this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not supposed to show that on stream. I think that, that means something bad nowadays, oh, right? it does? I think it does. Someone... Someone in chat, look in chat. Someone will kind of say, yeah, we can't say, yeah. we can't do the okay symbol anymore. I don't think we can. You know what I noticed? He doesn't come with two pistol hands. He doesn't come with two. He only comes with one. So he is a right-handed shooter. They're not, they don't give you the chance to make him a left-handed shooter, which kind of sucks. Uh, considering that you get all these other hands, but you don't get, well, here we go. Let's try out, before we put on the gun, as you can see right here, that looks pretty sick with the samurai sword. See? Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> so you're supposed to paint this. You right? are supposed to. This is supposed to be like a blank slate 
for you to make a custom. Like if I were to make a custom, I would consider taking parts out of this one and putting it on another SH Figure Arts, or heck, even just starting from scratch with this guy would be a good idea. Although, I have to tell you, I don't know if I would recommend this one as a like, let's say you make customs, right, for a living. Let's say you actually, let's say you do it as a side job even. I would actually consider the real deal just because this one is so inconsistent, right? You would you you would pay twenty bucks. Let's say you're charging a customer like a hundred bucks for a custom like figure they've always wanted, and then you use this clone thinking that you're gonna save money, but then all you're gonna let's say you get this. Now you're you're done for. You have to get another one. How many are you gonna get before you find a good one? The good one will be like fifty bucks, but that's guaranteed pretty much. QC like uh, quality control on that one will be really really good. Whereas this one, it's very inconsistent. If anything, I would use it for parts. That's exactly what I would use this for, just like how I did with, with my Hot Ryu SH Figure Arts Custom. I used it as a tester for paint. Let's see if the paint sticks. And it worked really well. That's really what I used it for. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, he holds everything decently well. Let's take out Goku. This is a version two Goku, by the way. So this is with the fighting body. I don't think this is gonna, the hands are gonna work. Yeah, just as I thought. So as you can see here, um, this is more. This is an older figure. The ball joints on the newer SH figure arts are much bigger, much sturdier. So you're not gonna be able to put the peace sign on there. No, then no. Which other ones could we like nah. try out? Well, none of them are gonna work because they're all the same ball joint type, right? As you can see here, look at the socket on this one compared to Goku. It's not even gonna. No, don't even try it. You're gonna ruin your figure. Uh, let's try it with Freddie Mercury. Let's see if we can at least get him with a pistol hand. Uh, or yeah, let's see. Where's the pistol hand here? Okay, here it is. I think this should work. Okay, yeah. So this is indeed the smaller type. Okay, so this should work. Oh, look at that. That's cool. This is pretty neat. That's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> Looks like he's screaming from pain as you're trying to force it into his hand. I don't want to shoot you, but I'm gonna. And look at that. That's cool. So it looks like it works with more like uh, the humanoid type or the realistic types, like the the uh, smooth criminal, criminal Michael Jackson, this one, probably even Harley Quinn and Joker and stuff like that. Uh, will work. It doesn't look like it works really well with like anime, unfortunately. Uh, last thing I want to do before we end this, I want to see if we can get the sword on him. I'm trying to find the hand. Okay, here we go. And we can outfit Freddie Mercury here just because I want to see him with a samurai sword. There you go. See? Look at that. That actually works. Even though it's not the correct uh, skin tone, it's just nice to know that this is something that you can add and customize to your Freddie Mercury. There you go. So there you have it. That's Freddie Mercury with a pistol and a sword. And there he is screaming and yelling on stage. And there you have it. So let's come up with a conclusion of this figure. Uh, what would I use this for? I would use this for testing out paint. That's what I used it for originally. Uh, seeing if paint will stick, especially when you're using uh, airbrushing which is what I love to do to custom action figures. Airbrushing is the way to go. And seeing if it'll stick with different formulas and mixtures. Would I use this to sell to someone if I was making a custom? Absolutely not. You have no idea what you were expecting. But what I can do to make the, the package even sweeter when you're selling or making a custom, you can paint up these hands and give them even more hands so it looks like a really good deal. So that's one of the things I would use it for. You'd use it as like an accessories pack. Or, or parts pack even. So let's say you break your Freddie Mercury. It looks to me, from what I can tell, everything is should work except for the leg joints here. These leg joints are different than for, than Freddie's ball joint. So um, that's the only thing that's different. It looks like everything else might be interchangeable, from what I can tell. Um, the scale looks to be really good. It looks like you could just swap joints and stuff like that. So this would be a decent parts figure. Janelle, what do you think? Let me hear your thoughts. And also thoughts in the comments and in chat. What do you guys think of this? I honestly think he's only good for making the 
knight from the Holy Grail at this point. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Like he's just sitting on the ground with yeah. his belly button. Yeah, that's it. Like, he's just kind of like <laughs> there we go. Kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys uh i think that's it for this video we're gonna go over questions here on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 but if you're looking for 100 percent authentic real deal action figures you know where to go janelle tell us where to go that's right you can go to www.dstartoys.com your reliable source for awesome action figures thanks for watching we're gonna go into questions and we'll see you guys next time peace So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.